Mark, Clements Homebrew. Coming at you. Coming at you. Are you feeling lucky? I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky as a bastard. Well, that's a good thing, because today we've got the lucky bastard from Stone Brewing. Oh, and I'm yes. just saying, you know, it's, it's quite the beer, I'll tell you that. And sometimes it's just nice to feel lucky. Be a lucky exactly. bastard. Well, uh, the this, lucky bastard is this by is Stone. A, and it's a, it's a mix. It's a mix uh -huh. of various beers, it is. right? It is indeed. So you've got the uh, bastard, arrogant bastard ale. Mm -hmm. And what else? Well, you got the oak age arrogant bastard. And then you got the double bastard. Uh, <laughs> what can we uh, say? Why are you pointing <laughs> me like that? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one cool thing about the uh, Lucky Bastard is you should go to Stone's site and you really need to check out how they wrote it up. Because they have that little thing where it's uh, you put it's the first huge letter... Huge thing on the back. Yeah. You put the first letter and the last letter correctly and then you mix up the middle. And if you read fast enough, it's supposed to translate. Well, but it took two of us. It took two of our, you know. But, you know, we're bastards. We can't, yeah. you know, double bastards. We might be dumb bastards <laughs> at that rate. <laughs> so, you know, some of it flowed and then some was like, oh, my God, like a hard crossword puzzle. Yeah, but it's anyway. true. It's true. So, uh, All right, we're, we're going to get poor on this and we're going to just... Go for it quick, because we've put a lot of time into this intro. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So I poured a little heavy. Mine's mine's a little... Uh, He's got two fingers. Up. I've got one. Oh, well. It's like a light tan head. Yeah. It's very clear. It's red to deep copper, yeah. like Dad yeah. said. Yeah, and no. it's it just looks fantastic, because it's a strong ale. Alright. Oh, yeah. Let's get a nose. I can smell the strong ale on this, baby. Mm. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't want to say that it smells like a classic, arrogant bastard. We've had the anniversaries and a few others, and it just makes me think of uh, someplace in between those. Yeah. Well, arrogant bastard has its own scent. It's kind of sweet. It, it does. But you know it's bitter. Their malt backbone is kind of their own. And, and then you get some of these other, like, uh, tropical fruits in there. You get the orange. But you, mm -hmm. you do get a good caramel maltiness yeah. on that as well, for sure. It's hard to explain when you've had Arrogant Bastard a couple times. It's yeah. got its own scent to it. it. It really does. I'm picking up a little bit of pineapple, personally. Yeah, um, that's what I was getting right there. Uh, I don't know. There's some other chocolate fruits that I can't nail down, but I get some pineapple well, off I it. I almost get like a star fruit in there. It's kind of bland, yeah. but yeah. it's sweet. And I get some grapefruit now. Uh, I'm yeah. picking up off it, and n not tons, but it's a it's a medium to sweet grapefruit. You know, maybe it, it's like a Texas grapefruit. It's, it smells like a beer to me. It smells like a beer that might get you fucked up. I, and you get the hops. I get a little bit of herbal hop off of it as well. Yeah, um, yeah so a little bit of earthiness and. Uh, it's nice how these things all interplay, actually, because yeah. I'm, I'm getting this nice malt. I'm getting well. We got a lot of stuff going on because we've got we've got the oak on this. We've got the double, so it's gonna be higher. I wasn't content. getting any vanilla scents from the oak, though. No, I'm not either, really, honestly. But I am getting a slight woodiness, which might be, be it being drowned out. A He's always bit. getting woodiness, so whatever. But I am. Always getting woody. Alright, so now. <laughs> you ready to drink this? I'm ready to okay. drink this. Okay, because I feel like an arrogant bastard over here. I feel lucky. <laughs> I get the oak this time. Definitely get the oak this time. I do. Definitely. It was hidden underneath the masses. Yeah. And I actually even get Damn. a hint of the vanilla. Just Damn, a hint of yeah, it, but yeah. You do. Oh, this is a really good arrogant bastard. There's way more herbal essence to this than right, I expected, and I don't. Herbal. It has a good malt base to it. Like you really can get the character out of it. Like you get some uh -huh. sweetness, but you get that strong ale taste to it. Some damn character made this, and I've met him. Yeah, but, no, but that's um, true. Yeah, that's we true. have met him. 
the thing is, this is a really uh, fun beer. Um, yeah. It's very, very intriguing because it's been a very, very long time since I have a double bastard and I never reviewed it. Um, yeah, we definitely need to do that. We do. And Arrogant Bastard, of course, we've had. I know I've had Oaked Arrogant Bastard on tap. Never reviewed it, but I have it at Stone. I know, but it's a good. really interesting mix of these three. Mm -hmm. And um, but as I'm drinking more, I get I get less of the orange. I'm getting the caramel backbone kind of stays the same. The herbal tea is coming on mm -hmm. stronger. For me, I just get a lot of the you get that oak in there. You get that strong ale taste. You got the alcohol content because it's 8.5%. And it's just, it's got a nice multi background to it, to me. I mean, it's it's a really well-balanced beer when you think of strong ales. Like, it's really, like, spreading the love between the oak and, you know, the vanilla. Because you get slight sense mm -hmm. of vanilla and you get a little bit of that citrus taste in there. I, I think it's pretty good. It really is an arrogant bastard ale, but it's, it is so arrogant. It's bastard. almost in a way better. I really like it because it has more of a sweetness to it, which is kind of cool. And you know, like because arrogant double bastard ale is a little bit sweeter, it, it lends more towards that. So, all right, can we rate it? For me, being a strong mm -hmm. ale and all the components it holds. This is really good. It really has a solid base. It has good flavors. It has a good mix. And it's very balanced. So for me, as a strong ale, I'm going to hit a 94. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Strong ale. What's so tough about rating this beer, because I like their hoppiness in their beer, mm -hmm. is I almost want to go into that Imperial IPA range, to be really honest with you. But you can't. But as a strong ale, because it has more deep, deep, darker tones. It, to it, it has other tones, which is nice. So as a strong ale, it's excellent, not world class. There's just interesting flavors. But I'm going to go to a 92 on this one. Disappointed, Dad. Disappointed. So sorry. Disappointed. That's <laughs> what about for your overall? Well, for the overall, hold on. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. I've come to a conclusion. This is 93. I'm gonna go a notch below. I mean, the more I drink it, the more I love this beer. And it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at this. I'm like, down to the end. I mean, yeah, it's a I'm fantastic too. beer. I mean, you can't, you can't deny it. It's, it's got such great ale taste. And when I say that, I say ale. It has that beer taste that's excellent. And let's face it, as a man, men love ales. None of us want that fucking Mike's Heart Lemonade. Screw that shit. No, this has a good strong ale taste. It, It's delicious. It's a man taste. Remember that man taste. Alright, so according to him, if you don't like it, you are not a man. <laughs> This is a tough beer for an overall. I got. I have to be really honest. They're really tough because yes, parts of me says go up, parts of me says go down, and so I'm gonna go right down the line and say an overall 92 because this is a feel good beer. But the fact is, is this is a fantastic beer, and I'll tell you right now, life is too short to drink cheap beer. We'll see you on the next beer review, and we will. Yes, we Catch will. Catch you next time.